Welcome. In today's guide, we're diving into how to view your security code on Gmail using your PC. With all the latest updates, it's crucial to keep your account secure, and knowing how to find your security code is a key step in protecting your personal information. So, let's get started. First, head over to gmail.com and open your account. Once you're in, look for your profile photo in the top right corner of the screen. Click on it, and then select Manage your Google account. This will take you to a new page where you can control various settings related to your Google account. On the left-hand side, you'll see a panel with different options. Click on Security. This section is your go-to place for enhancing your account safety features. Scroll down until you find the How You Sign In to Google section. Here, you'll see an option labeled Pass Keys and Security Keys. Click on it. Now, Google will likely ask you to verify it's really you. Enter your password and click Next. This is a standard security measure to ensure that only you can access these sensitive settings. Once you've confirmed your identity, you'll be taken to a page where you can manage your pass keys. To view or add a security key, click on Add a Pass Keys. From here, simply follow the on-screen instructions to proceed. These instructions will guide you through the process of setting up a new pass key, which can act as a security code for your Gmail account. It's important to note that the exact steps might vary slightly depending on updates to Gmail's interface, but the general process remains the same. By following these steps, you can easily manage your security settings and keep your Gmail account safe and secure. And that's it. You've successfully learned how to view your security code on Gmail using your PC with the latest updates. Keeping your account secure is essential in today's digital world, and I hope this guide has been helpful in giving you the tools to do so. Stay safe online and thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more helpful tutorials like this. If you have any questions or run into any issues, feel free to leave a comment down below and I'll do my best to help you out.